Hi, welcome to Cast and Loose Living Room. I'm Lynn Marie Rosenberg, and I am here today with my dear friend, Jacqueline Sidney. You might know Jackie from A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Gynecological... Gynecologic... A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Gynecologic Oncology Unit at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center of New York City. Yes! Was that your warm-up every day? Uh, no, we used to have contacts. You could say it faster, though. You might not know her from A Drop in the Pudding by the Glines in 1976, wherein Jackie and three other women played the thought of the lead character who was called One, their character names were One's Thoughts. <laughs> they wore leotards, which is my favorite part of the yes. story, and tights, and were choreographed to do strange, <laughs> modern dance-ish moves to the words, I am one, mostly alone. I prove myself to be so individual <laughs> that loneliness was the outcome. Loneliness was the outcome. Oh. <laughs> Practically Shakespeare. Jackie, you've been in the industry a while. A few years. You've seen some shit. <laughs> I have seen some shit. I thought we could look today at what it means to be a woman at each decade of one's life. Oh gosh, that sounds like fun. We will begin. Okay. Even in your childhood, there are feminine ideals you'll have to live up to. Female, three to ten. Susie is spoiled. A future pageant queen who loves princesses and the color pink. While she plays night, nice, there is no doubt she can boss around her friends and her cousin at three to ten. Bossy. Now, if it were a little Bossy. boy, we would call him um, uh, a leadership A quality. leadership yeah, that's right. So, so this poor little child. Three to ten. Three to ten. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, once you make it into your teens, the roles get much more nuanced. Oh, yeah. Hot teen, number one, 18 to 28. Caucasian. You are rich, hot, and down to fuck. You know it, and so does everyone else. You and your friends run this town, whether you're screaming along to rap or partying. You know you're doing it looking sick. Sexy. Must look young. <laughs> Nudity required for this role. Chest will be exposed. She will be flashing the camera. Oh, my God! I know. They're lucky they put the 18 to 28 in there or they'd have a criminal indictment on their hands. Oh. Pedophilia. It's the myth that beautiful young women need to be in control and need to show their body in order to be in control. Right, know. and that their sexuality is the most important part of who they are. As you make your way into your 20s, you'll have the chance to explore a range of identity. Synopsis. The story of a girl, Allison, told in three moments. Her early 20s, her mid-20s, and her late 20s. Coming together to show the transformation of her identity and relationship. Just the whole world. <laughs> in your 20s. In your because 20s. Because we are nothing after well, 29. No. In your 20s, your maternal instincts will be of great, <laughs> great value. Kitty, 20 to 30. A confident and well-turned-out young housewife. Happy with a life full of cocktail parties, party dresses, and polite conversation. Oh, despite her picture-perfect suburban world, her own body stops her from getting the one thing she wants most, a child. She fears she is an incomplete woman since she is not a mother. The two of us. <laughs> You're looking at two incomplete ladies I am right here. Happily, a complete whole no, human being. being. You have yes. children. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it? But mm. as you cross the hill into your 30s and 40s, mm. you might as well pack it in. Mom Maggie. Caucasian mid 40s. Attractive woman with lots of mileage. Self centered and insecure about her age. Trying to compensate by dressing seductively. Of course. She is the type who flirts with everyone in a desperate effort to fit in. With the best years far behind, she does not try to reinvent herself. Instead, 
she tries to hold on to what is left of her youthful attractiveness. Her best years are far behind. Oh, God, what does that make me? <laughs> and if you think mid-40s, her best years are far behind, <laughs> when did that put her in her best years? I'm still looking forward to my best years. My belief is if every year I look back at the previous one and think I was an asshole, then I'm doing great. But after your 40s, uh -huh. it's all just a big lump of elderly years from then on. Mrs. Jensen. <laughs> years old, friendly, elderly, grandmother-like neighbor. Keep You've going. had a few years. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. Uh, elderly woman, <laughs> 40 to 100 years old. Just All a, ethnicities female. <laughs> 40 to 100 years old is considered one character's range. It's funny because I say be, I play between 50 and dead. Remember when we showed up to an audition? And they had called yeah. us both in for the same role. The same role. <laughs> yeah. Right here. To finish us out, Jackie, in general, remember, you and us, mm -hmm. age is relative. Or at least it's relative in regards to gender. Harry, male, 25 to 40, Caucasian, good looking in a scruffy, boyish way. Diana, female. 25 to 40, Caucasian, a slightly aging rocker girl with a sweet face and a mean look. Same age. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's so good. Welcome to right? my world. Now, Jackie, when I asked you um, what you might want to talk about today, you said the most beautiful thing. You said you wanted to talk about the sisterhood in, in the acting world. Yeah. Please tell me about that. I thought that was the most beautiful thing to say. Don't forget that it's a job and it's a career where we have to stick together. Yeah. We also need to speak up. I find that a lot of younger women, because it happened to me, are, are afraid to speak up when there is sexual misconduct, pay inequity. I find that if people in my generation, actors in my generation, women specifically, speak up, um, it teaches the younger women that I never did. I remember um, yeah. I did a, uh, a show where it was an all-female cast, um, mostly female crew, but there was the boyfriend of one of the actors who was helping out backstage, but he decided he would come into the dressing rooms a lot. A couple of the women said, you know, I don't like it when this man, and I said, uh, go to the stage manager, um, and said, well, I don't want to make waves. So I went to the stage manager mm -hmm. and spoke about it. Stage manager supported me, but I was called by some of the, you know the names. Oh, I know this, the words. We need to, instead of compete, we need to show that it's okay to speak up for yourself mm -hmm. and I that's that. what I mean and that's a sisterhood we had it in the 60s and hopefully now with um, all the sexual predators and sexual harassment um, coming to light publicly we'll have another wave of that and yeah. so yay it's I hope so too I think <laughs> that's beautiful thank you and I, I have been ending these uh, and I will continue to end these with saying um, take care of each other because that's all we've got whatever capitalist structures whatever you want to say wants us to be in competition with one another but actually we're here to be a family with one another and in community with one another you know the nature of our business Lynn, yeah. is working together yeah. which is why we both have monologues <laughs> you know? yeah you know, I, I, I want to look someone in the eyes and talk to them yeah. to show the human experience. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you. Take care of each other and be professional.